Amen. God bless you today. This is Reverend Rudy Henry. For he who saves one life, saves the ministry. My brother just got back, and he's such a blessing of the Lord Jesus. I did some fellowshipping with him. We always have a good time and laugh and share the things of God. And God bless you, Michael. My brother got home safe. What a blessing of the Lord. My mama got up, and Jesus is a blessing. I want to say something. I was just, I remember hearing Reverend Jonathan Romero saying that when he first got saved, <clears throat> um, he used to go to a Spanish church and he used to do Bohemian, I guess, all night prayer vigil. And he said that instead of praying, they busted out the coffee and the palm cake. <laughs> and he said, hey, why don't we pray first and pray and intercede and seek God and, and then celebrate, you know, with palm cake and coffee. And they would, they would just, I guess, talk. I don't know. It was an amazing testimony. And. You can't live off the daily cake. I don't live off cake, yeah. It's not a cakewalk, yeah. And many of people, especially Christians and Catholics, they want to justify their cakewalk with Jesus Christ. You better get deep with Jesus Christ today. You better fast. You better pray. You better give. You better worship God and preach and witness. And you better follow after Jesus Christ hard, yeah. I'll say this. I agree with the man of God. God bless you, Jonathan. Remember... I don't live off the daily cake. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You need the Word of God. You need to grow up. You know, the Bible says, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. But I, now it's time. I put away childish things. It's time to come on now. Yeah. Forget all your foolishness and get out of the flesh and say no to the world and lay hold of Jesus Christ and tell your testimony and tell Him what God has done for you and tell Him what God is saying. Yeah. I, I love to hear the man. Now, what? Now, hear this. Yeah. Now, this was the church. Yeah. You know, and he said, well, let's first, this is, you know, let's get into some prayer and hurt the enemy. Go, go hard for God or go home. And he said, I don't live off the daily cake. He's right. Most Christians do. Most Christians and Catholics do. And so, what we do is we want to justify our fleshly. Our fleshly desires, so we live off this cake, cake, cake Christianity, and we don't want to pray, we don't want to witness, we don't want to crucify, sanctify, satisfy for Jesus Christ, take up our cross, and we don't want to be persecuted. I think about the Christians all over the world that are losing their arms and legs and families and friends and being beheaded, and here in America, we're, we we're afraid to be persecuted. Is that your Bible? No, 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 that's not mine. I wear a cross on my, some people don't even want to wear a cross. I take my Bible and I, I you know, you know, there's times that, but I'm not talking, it's not about carrying the Bible, it's about being a true servant of the Lord Jesus Christ today. And put away that cake already, yeah. Amen. First pray hard and give hard and preach hard and love hard and serve God hard and worship God. And then celebrate with some coffee and some pumpkin. cake. Ain't that right, Jonathan Ramirez? God bless you, brother. Enough of this cake Christianity. It's time to get deep in the things of God, brother. Yeah, I really. I don't live off cake. Man, I'm out here risking my... I feel the holiness. Michael, you started something. Yeah. I was... And you don't... I'm going to say something about the grace. I'm all... I love grace. But don't you dare take advantage of God's grace. Yeah. If you've been warned. Yeah, that's right. And God had mercy on you. It's time to come on up for Jesus Christ. Yeah. You better start fulfilling God's will and plan for your life today. Yeah. My God, put away them idols that I remember he talked about the book of Numbers. And man, they were they made a they were there for I don't know how long. They did they, they were just wondering. And he said, The numbers, the book of numbers is the scariest book. Because Revelation, we win, we go home. Because they, they, they could have made a 12-day journey, but they 40, 50 years. A lot of Christians doing that today. Yeah, how about we get somewhere? How about you grow up already? How about you start tithing and serving God and praising God and loving your family and praying for your family and reaching out to them and showing them the things of the Lord? Yeah, quit fooling around. Hey, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. He's a holy God. And you know, he said something that blew me away. He said that he was in hell for about maybe 20 minutes. I don't know. He said, but that was enough for him to make him turn his life 25 years of witchcraft. You better come to Jesus Christ today. Yeah, 
That was enough, man. Yeah. God is having grace on you. You better you better take the grace of God right now. Yeah. And you better give your life to Jesus Christ. Stop backsliding. If you're out there in sin, come back to Jesus Christ. Like my old pastor used to say, don't stay in sin too long. You might not make it to the altar. Yeah. My God, Jesus loves you though. And he'll overlook your sin and your faults and your failures and your iniquities and save you right now if you just call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And people say, Rudy, how do you do it? I want to tell you this. I don't live off cake. Yeah, Rudy. Really. I don't, you know, it's not a cakewalk, yeah. It's time to say no to the flesh and no to the world and yes to God and yes to His Holy Ghost and yes to God's will in our life. You know what Jesus did in the garden was so amazing? He said, nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. Three times he prayed that prayer and the angel of the Lord strengthened him. <coughs> now, he didn't want to go to the cross. He was fully man too, but he said, let's do this. Yeah, you got to give up your own will and your own way and do it and serve God. Do it, God. Serve the Lord. Do Live as a life as a Christian should. Be on to Jesus Christ. Give it everything you got. Don't God deserve that? Be a good soldier for Jesus Christ today. Rep, we're ambassadors for Christ. I watch everything I do and everything I say. Because I'm an ambassador for Jesus Christ today, yeah. I was hearing how he was on the airplane and a young girl was there and he said, go ahead, use your earphones to watch the movie. And he said, no, 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 go ahead. So at the end of the flight, she came over. She said, I know who you are. You're Jonathan Romero. I read your books. I watch your videos. He said, whoa. Yeah. He said, I know who you are. Yeah. You never know. And, you know, we're ambassadors for Christ. So I try to carry myself as an ambassador of Jesus Christ. I watch everything I do and say, I don't want to bring shame to Jesus Christ, and I sure don't want people to backside and go to hell over what I, how I live. And I don't want to embarrass God and embarrass my family. And, you know, I, I, I heard that. It was amazing, yeah. My Lord, Jesus loves you today, yeah. It's time to call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today. God loves you today. He, he, he this mercy for you. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Amen. I'm just no cakewalk. Yeah. Amen. That's okay, you know, if you when you come to Jesus. But man, it's time to you know. But you gotta like what the word says. It's time to take up your cross, deny yourself, and follow Jesus Christ. Amen. He's the only Puerto Rican with good credit. <laughs> Jesus, remember what he said. He said, "Don't ask a Puerto Rican." Um, how many kids they have? Here's Juan. Here's Juanito. Here's Maria. <laughs> he could be in there forever. I was here in a prison. He said, "Lord, he go. Didn't you take a break? He go. Don't you? He go. Don't you take a break?" <laughs> Jesus loves you today, and so do I. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ today. Amen. Now let's do this. Let's let's tower and start crucifying that flesh and saying no to the world and following after Jesus Christ today and. God bless you. You need Jesus in your life today. There's no other way but through the precious blood of the Lamb. My friend, your friends and your family and your talents and your gifts and your money and your... You'll go to hell. You need the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Just say yes to Jesus Christ. And if you're backslidden, man, you know better. Come back to Jesus Christ today and begin to serve the living God. Amen. This is Prophet Rudy Henry for He Who Says One Life Saves the Rose Ministries. Fresno, California, home of the world famous grizzly. Well, at one time we were champs. I don't know if we are. I don't know what the, what the 49ers are doing. The Eagles are looking pretty good. The uh, Seattle Seahawks are looking. They're based here in the West Coast. I don't know. Maybe we can bring that championship here and the Eagles, have, uh, Seattle Seahawks are looking pretty good, and I don't know about the 49. I think they're doing pretty good, so I remember I was down there in the food mall, and they had the banner there. I don't know if we're champs anymore, but hey, we can still bring it. Go Grizzlies. Uh, maybe maybe Seattle looks pretty good. It's just keeping it here in the West Coast. and I don't mean to offend all my New York East Coast people, but you know me, Fresno, California, Amen. I've been preaching in these streets for many of many a years and I love my city. I love my town. I go Grizzlies. Amen. I like the 49ers. They were a Jimmy Garoppolo. Come on now. Maybe 
the Seattle Seahawks are looking, but I don't know if Russell Wilson is something else. He may bring it all in. You know, he, he looks pretty good. Or That's an amazing team. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you today, and so do I. And call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on now. You know, this stuff, we need to press in. You know, the Jesus, we're living in the last days. And if the enemy is stepping up his game, we got to step up our game. Everybody else is coming out of the closet except the Christians. You know, we want to be in the closet, secret service. But we got to be special forces, sniper commandos for Jesus Christ. Everybody out come out of the closet. We need to come out of the closet. I'm going to give me a rainbow shirt. I was going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to preach with it, and I'm going to minister with it. I'm going to get me a rainbow. I'm going to get me a rainbow shirt. Let's take the rainbow back, and I'm going to preach the gospel on the Internet and walk around and minister and I'm going to get me some rainbow Nikes. I'm telling you, Jesus loves you today. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. Amen. God bless you today. Jesus, te, Jesus Cristo, te amo mucho, te quiero mucho. Um, I'm going to make some more videos. They're coming. I got another ministry out there. and Fugo de, Fugo de Dios or Lumbra de Dios Ministries, the fire of God. It's coming your way today. Amen. I love you, and God loves you too, and Jesus Christ is the Son of God today, and I love you, and God loves you too, but the word is the word. You have, you need to get saved today. Call on the name of, forsake your sins today, and call on the name of Jesus, and give God everything. You leave it, leave it all on the field. There's a saying, leave it all on the field. My brother and sister, leave it all on the field for Jesus Christ. Go hard for God, or go home. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He who saves one life saves the world's ministries. Missionary Rudy Henry. Amen. God bless you today.